Hello and welcome to Hexed Encountered. I'm Joe. In this video we will be continuing our Solo Sunday series of Knight Fighter Ace from Compass Games, designed by Gregory M. Smith. The first three episodes were on the tabletop, but uh, because I need, needed the space, I actually switched to Vassal for this fourth episode. And if I do any further episodes, which I'm leaning towards that being the case, then uh, those would also be in Vassal. So, without further ado, we can jump right in. If you have not seen any of the previous episodes, you can always check those out. They are on the channel. I have now organized all my videos by publisher, so you'd simply need to go to the Compass Games playlist, and the Night Fighter Ace games would be right there. All right, so our first step is to roll for our raid. So we'll roll 2d6, and we got a 7, and that is, we are in September of 43, that is Hanover. So I'm actually using this log that I downloaded from um, Board Game Geek. It's a Google Sheet. You can download it, or make a copy of it, rather, and uh, because it's publicly available, it's publicly shared, make a copy of it and use it for your own uh, your own game, and it actually tracks everything for you. So our target, as I said, was Hanover. It was a seven. Okay. So I will bring that in and so on occasionally, but I'll probably keep it off screen for, you know, sake of, of uh, saving screen space. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, our next is to roll for electronics failure. And again, the die rolls will appear here. And we rolled a 10. A 10 is secondary radar, which we do not have, so we can move on. Our third step is to move... Uh, oh, we have to check for weather. I forgot to do that. And for that, we roll a d10, and we got a 2. And a 2 on the weather chart is good weather. So we'll move our weather to good. And we'll continue by moving to the first... Uh, our target is Mannheim is Munich. Okay, so we don't have a lot of uh, range here, so now we have to check for a spoof raid, so we roll 2d6 again. And again, we got, uh, this time we got a 10, so I think that's probably going to be a spoof raid. Yes, we lose one endurance box, so we're going to have one crack at this. So we're going to roll for, uh, we're going to roll our 1d10 and check b1 for interception. So uh, let's see, what did we get? We got a 2, which is no interception. Now we would get a uh, plus 1 for, for our operational radar set. We do have a radar here. And it is operational. But doesn't matter because we got a no interception result so we will be moving to our landing box now and we roll 2d6 we got a 4 and a 4 is a safe landing we don't have uh, we didn't have any negative modifiers so that completes this first mission short and sweet and we'll move on to the next one as soon as I update the log. So let me actually bring that over so you guys can see it. So let's pop that in here. So we had a uh, no interception. And I'll put uh, spoof raid and no interception. Now up here at the top, you can see it tracks our total kills. We started with nine. We've had eight so far in our campaign. Twelfth total sortie. We have three prestige points. Um, we gained experience points after that mission. That bumped us up. So we are now uh, at three. Uh, we're still at three prestige points, but we have four experience points, and the crew has three experience points. So we can actually use that to uh, purchase some skills here 
here on our handy dandy uh, Google Sheet we have the ability to purchase stuff right here so these would be your prestige points that you could purchase which I am not going to uh, to do at the moment and then he's already got this but if I select it then it, it takes my three skill points away so I'm not going to do it it says to do it on the sortie log but I don't see any place to do so um, so I won't <laughs> you know um, yeah I don't see anywhere to do it so it also tracks our current victory point level which is marginal but anyway these are the skills so we have the landing skill which I may use um, see down here it says set skills on sortie log we have uh, I don't know if I type the F110 in here, if that will do anything. But I don't think it does. I'm going to put electronics maintenance for our uh, crew member, our um, Funker. And for me, I will take uh, landing. And I'd love to save up to get uh, the Schrager music. But, so for now, and then if we go back here, you'll see. Um, I, oh, I have three points, that's right. And the crew is down to one. All right, we are ready to move on. We'll move that back out of the way. And we'll go back up here. We'll move ourselves to the start again. We're gonna move on to, oh, I didn't put the moon state. So our next moon state here, as we go to September, Mission number six, no, mission number seven. So we have two missions left in September. So we will roll for the raid, 2d6, we get an eight. An eight is again Mannheim. So our raid target is, uh, Mannheim, which is a Munich target, which again is at extreme range for us. So I'll just move this here. Our moon phase right now is what? Minus one dark. So it's dark. So we'll put that there. We'll roll for weather. And we got a seven, which is good weather, barely. One to seven, good weather. And we are ready to go. All right, now we need to roll for our random electronic failure, 2d6. It's an eight. Uh, that is no effect. And now we move on to spoof raids. That is an 11, so that is going to be a spoof raid. And we lose one endurance box. So we got the same exact thing we got the last time. So we're back here, I should have been here. So we're actually here again anyway. So now we'll roll for interception, which is a 2D, not a 1D10. We rolled a five, which is no interception. So that again was a short mission. We go to landing. We roll our 2d6. We got a six. That is a safe landing. So a pretty uneventful roll there as well. So our target was uh, Mannheim. We had good weather. We had no interception. No interception. And that is that. So now we'll go. So you can see our sorties are up to 13 now. We go to uh, this next one, and we'll just keep we'll just keep rolling here. So we'll start off with our 2d6 for the target. It is a five, which is Berlin. So we will move this to Berlin. We will roll for our weather. It is a seven, so it stays good. Our moon 
is now, I believe, none. There is no moon. So we have that here. So next we will check our random electronics failure. Failure, rather. <clears throat> and if we roll a 12, that's the only thing that can affect us right now. So we have a 10, which means no effect. We'll move on to checking our spoof chart. Uh, 2 to 9 is no effect. And we got a 3, so no spoof rate this time. Our aircraft is in the Berlin box. And so we've got a decent amount of chances, but the minus 2 for no moon is going to hurt us in, in trying to, uh, to intercept. We do get a plus one for our working operational radar set, so that will help. But we need a ten, basically. Oh, a natural ten is always a, is always a uh, an interception. So yes, if we get a ten, we intercept. And look at that, we actually got a ten. We got a ten, so we intercept on our first box. So now we roll for our target. So that's two d six. We roll. We got a seven. And a 7 in September is a Lancaster. So our target is a Lancaster. So here on our target mat, a bomber target mat, we see the Lancaster has a speed of 14. It is one of the um, bigger, air well, it's one of the tougher aircraft, I guess I should say, as you can see. It's, well, I guess it's similar to the Wellington, but it's not a Mosquito, which is much easier to shoot down. So we will now get into the combat phase for the first time in this video, which is nice because it's kind of uh, been boring so far. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's get the, uh, the combat sequence rolling here. So we're going to draw a combat card, which I guess we do up here. And it is, um, you are not spotted, you fire first. And I was planning on doing the, uh, the Schrega music. So let's draw another card for that, and we get four hits. So now we have to determine what those hits are. We'll bring up the bom bomber damage. So these are random, and because it's uh, Schrager music, we're aiming at a wing. We'll go with um, the port wing this time, since we went all starboard in the previous mission. So we down here we have our ammunition for the Schrager music. You can see we have three. So this would be the first one we will be using. And let's roll. So we're rolling uh, the 1D10, and we got a 1, which is airframe. So we will put an airframe damage on the, uh, right here. So we get a damage. That's 1. We roll again. We got a 7. A 7 is <laughs> no effect, so that's great. Third one is another one, so we get a second damage. And our final roll is another one, three roll, three ones in a row. Wow, okay. Well, three, three ones out of four, I guess. Which is good, except that it takes four to actually do something to it there. Uh, yeah, actually that would destroy, that would destroy it, I guess. It would do enough damage to shoot it down. Okay, so we have to do another pass, which requires us moving to the next box before we attempt that. Okay, so we're gonna make a second pass. Let me actually reduce this by one. And we will roll 1d6. If it's a one or a two, the target escapes. If it's a three or higher, we get a second pass. So, oh my goodness. Ah, okay, well, that is a uh, three. So we now have to roll to see if the bomber goes down on its way home. And then if it does, we would also have to roll to see whether anybody saw it so that we could get credit for the kill. So we rolled the 1d10 and you get a one and then a plus one if anything is one hit away from destruction and that would be the case here with the airframe. So a one or a two We'll shoot it down, and we got a five. So it does it does survive to make it back to jolly old England, and the uh, the encounter is over. We advance to our next box, and we'll roll for interception again, and we got a two, which is no interception. We'll go to our next box, roll for interception again, and because it's an eight, we um, with the minus two, or it's really a minus one, but it's still not a natural 10, which is what we need. 
So we now go to the landing box and we will roll for landing. We do get a uh, minus one for our landing skill. There is a, uh, there is no other, yeah, there's no other modifiers here. So we roll out 2d6, we got an eight, minus one is a seven. That is a safe landing. So we have completed our mission. We took on a Lancaster, but did not manage to shoot it down. And so we live to, to fly another day. That is the end of September. So the next mission will move us into October. We'll get a whole new set of, of targets um, for the British to bomb, or at least it'll change up. The, you know, the, uh, the various roles will change. So that's up next. Let me update my log here. Okay, so I've updated our, whoops, I've updated our uh, log here. So our target was Berlin, the weather was good. We uh, had a minus two on the, it automatically updates that. So you can see um, that the moon is none. That's what that's for, the, no, the uh, no moon. So we did roll a 10 and had an interception. The target was a Lancaster and as I put down here, three damage to airframe bomber escapes. So that is the end of that. We go on to October 43 first mission. Our, our moon will be minus one for dark. Our target, uh, well, we'll roll for our target, etc. It says shuffle combat card deck. Um, we've only used two cards, I think, so I don't know that that's necessary, but it's fairly easy to do, so I may do it anyway. But let's, uh, let's take a quick look at our pilot and crew status. So here's our pilot card. So as you can see, it lays out pretty much just like the player aid does in the board game. We've got Hans Heinz Augenstein here, and he's at he has three prestige points. There's his unit. He's a Leutnant. He's got the uh, Iron Cross first and second class, and then we've got his stuff down here. You can see he's got the BF-110 skill as well as landing, and our Funker has the electronic maintenance skill. So that is that. So now we go on to rolling for our first raid here in the month of October. We get a two and that is Hanover. So let's move this to Hanover, which is in the Bremen area. And we put that there. Our moon is at dark and we'll roll for weather. It's a 10, which means socked in. Flight operations are canceled. Ace pilots with more than five kills may disregard. Well, um, we're going to disregard. Why not? Let's live dangerously, right? You don't get to get to be an ace without being uh, bold. So, all right. So now we need to roll for our electronics. Again, unless it's a 12, which it's not, so there's nothing from that. Our spoof raid, we get a 4, which is no effect, so we are a go despite the really crappy weather this evening. So now we'll go to, to, uh, to put this in our Bremen box, which is right there. And we'll roll for interception. We get a 2, which is nothing, so we move on to the next box, roll it, roll again, we got a nine. Now we get a minus one for dark, and uh, I think that's, well, we get a plus one as well for the operational radar set. So that gives us a total of nine. They cancel each other out, and that is an interception, so let's roll for our target. We get a three, a three in October is a Lancaster again. Um, so again, oh, we gotta clear the bomber mat. Boop, okay. We are ready to attack our bomber. I didn't say this before, but we're gonna go medium range, Schrega music again. That um, is the first, if you have it, that's the first thing you should use every time, I think. And I'm sure others would agree. So uh, as far as the combat deck, I. Th think, uh, yeah, reshuffle, we'll take this card, reshuffle, there, okay, so we're shuffled, like I said, it's not hard to do, um, so we are at medium range, we're going to use our Schrager music, so I will decrease that in a moment, 
But uh, for now, we will roll, um, not roll, we will draw our card. Oh, I keep forgetting, I want to click on the deck. So, Schrager Music Attack Aborted. So, as you can see here, it says our attack is aborted. And that means that uh, we don't expend the ammunition, but we also don't get an attack. So we have to move to our next endurance box. and Or we can elect to try to attack with our forward guns, which have a firepower of 10. Um, so let's, let's do that. Let's do that. So we still have to... Uh, we still have to roll to see if we get there. And we got a six, so we do successfully uh, come back. And now we will be attacking the regular way. So we're coming up behind it. So we draw a card to see. Uh, you are spotted. Bom defender fires first. Okay, so now we need our defensive fire. So if I draw another card, I well, we put it there. So let's put this here. So defensive fire. Actually, this was the... Yeah, this, it went underneath for some reason. That was weird. I mean, I'd love it if this was my car, because you are, you fire first, look, destroyed. That's awesome. Um, they get no hits. That's how I'm reading it, because this was the card we drew that we were spotted first. And then this was the card that I drew for their defensive fire. So they have fired and got no hits. So now we get to fire. We get uh, group. And port wing, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't even say what I was doing. So we're going to do, let's just say we're doing port wing again, just to be kind of fair, because it's still it's still going to be group, uh, group damage, and I should have said it beforehand, and I didn't. I always forget that part for some reason. So we'll just go with port wing. That's the first thing um, in the list anyway. So that results in uh, a controls damage. Two engine damage, uh, which we need to roll to see which ones they are. So three, oh, apply engine. One to three is in, four, six is out. So port engine, uh, port engine in. So that would be uh, this one. And next we have, oh, there's, uh, there's two engine damage. So let's roll this again. And we rolled another three, so this is now in op. All right, you can't flip this to in op. Interesting. There are in op markers, but I guess it's not implemented here. But we know that that engine is now out, so we get a port wing one, and we get a random. So let's roll for our random. That's a d10, and it's a nine. And the 9 is uh, aiming at wing is outside engine, so that would be that engine. And now we, we, uh, we move into close range, and we'll, we'll, uh, the fire now is simultaneous, so we draw a card, and I keep, keep clicking that. So they're simultaneous. Uh, uh, roll for random if more than one firing. Okay, so we do have more than one firing, and we have our guns and our cannon, so let's roll uh, odd and even, I guess. It is even, so these guns are out. I'm going to uh, decrease the ammo first, and then I need to put that they're in op. So. I guess it's up here. Oh, it's right here. And there's no, uh, let's see, pieces. There's an in-op. All right, so let's put this on here. Actually, let's delete that, put that there. And we'll put an in-op on our gun, unfortunately. So firepower is now a four. Okay, roll for random. Okay, so we'll use our firepower from this, which would have been the four. So we get four hits, and then we flip another card for the 
defender and they also get four hits so we both get four hits here and so let's determine and again it did that to me again it like puts the wrong card at the bottom so this is the defender card this is my card uh, no that's wrong I know the gun jam one this one is no what the frick all right uh, <laughs> This one is definitely mine, and this one is, is, I'm pretty sure, theirs. So these two were the first two drawn, and I think I'm, uh, yeah, uh, this, this is uh, driving me crazy. All right, so that's that, and that's that. All right, so I get four hits, he gets four hits. We determine what our hits are. So I'll just do them first since I already have that um, up and looking at it. This attack is at close range, so we get one extra random hit, which gives us five. So we will roll for uh, bomber damage here D on the 10. A 9 is, um, and we're still at port, uh, port wing, so that would be engine outside. So that would move this one to be in up as well. So that's now in up. So two engines are out. And then the next one is five, which is controls. So that's another controls damage. And then the third one is a seven, which is no, no, seven at the wing is engine in. That engine's already destroyed. And um, both engines on this side are out. And we get another seven for our uh, fourth. We have two engines out. Uh, we can try another pass, but let's see how badly they beat us up here. So we have to do our night fighter damage rolls here. And this is 1d6 plus 1d6, so we'll use red for the first and, well, we'll just read it that way off of here. Let me hide the pieces again. Though I might not, I might need them, so I won't. So we get a 1-5. One 1-5 five. One five is main radar. So this is now in op. And then we have three left. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, 12 is port wing. So we need a damage marker for that. And next is 21, which is landing gear. So landing gear is uh, in op. And the final one is 45. 45 is starboard wing. So starboard wing gets a damage as well. Oh wait, these are up here. It takes three to do those. Okay. Well, we're a little banged up here. But I've got him real close to being being damn it uh, down here so um, he's got two engines out so this time I'm gonna actually go back to trying to get the Schrager music so I'm going to that means we advance one more box and I roll to see if it's a one or a two we lose them it's a six, so we're in. We're going to do a uh, medium range a Shre uh, Shrego music again. So let's draw a card and hope that we don't have the the dreaded uh, we Shrego music aborted. Son of a gun. Um, well, that's that, I guess. So looking at our bomber mat, we do get a, uh, a possible, if we can get a one or a two here. And we got a seven. So this bomber also escapes. Unfortunately for us, now we have to try a landing on a, uh, without a landing gear. So we go to our landing chart and let's see, damage landing gear is a plus one. We do have a minus one for our landing skill. We don't have any, uh, no wounds, no engines out. Uh, socked in adds a plus three. So we're going to be a plus three here. So that means a two to seven is safe. And if it's not, then we're going to have issues here. All right, what do we get? We get a seven. So we barely, barely made it. 
All right, so now I will enter in my results here. So we were, uh, where were we again? I forget. We were in Bremen. Uh, we had an interception. We were in, it was a Lancaster. Our target was uh, Hanover. And our weather was socked in. And we did damaged rank bomber escape. All right, and so now we uh, we just um, yeah, that's it, that's it. So looking at our prestige points and so our experience points rather, we're still not quite at the point where we get another experience point. To get to four so that will do it for this one i'm actually going to end the video here so we have 17 kills total nine of those were from his previous experience we've had 15 sorties now our prestige level remains three we have three available prestige points we have three experience points for our pilot and one for the funker uh, our victory level currently is marginal we have to finish i think through november to get to the uh possible promotion and I don't know why this says plus zero intercept roll because it says on the intercept chart if you have a working radar which we do or typically do it's in damaged right now then you get a plus one or plus X for each set we do have a set so I don't I don't know why that says plus zero um, if anybody knows let me know is there um, is it the type of radar that's on here because I did not look that up. Um, I guess I could, but I'm not gonna do it right now while we're doing the video. So that's gonna wrap this one up. Please, uh, you know, comments, questions, etc., are always welcome. Please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, etc. just like I always say. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this one. I do plan on doing another. So um, I may or may not do actually two for next Solo Sunday, we'll see. Um, it's, all, it's all dependent on how much time I have. Do a fifth one here to maybe wrap this up. The thing with, with using Vassal is it makes it pretty easy to do the video. Um, easier than, than doing the tabletop because it's, it's screen capture instead of moving pieces around and then dealing with editing and all that stuff. This is a lot easier. Um, it's much more simple and straightforward. Let's put it that way. So I'm Joe. This is the Hexed Encounter channel. And it's Solo Sunday. And until next time, as always, happy gaming.